Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 5. So what happened in the previous episode is that guys decided to have a boys night as good old days, them playing video games throughout the whole weekend. Everybody was so excited for it, but Sheldon was supposed to go with Amy to her grandmother's birthday, I think. Yeah, he decided to stay and play video games with his friends. That's why I was like, oh, such a bad move, Sheldon, come on. Amy doesn't deserve that. At the end, Howard invited Bernadette to play with them and Rush got really upset because everybody was talking about their girlfriends, all the problems with the girlfriends and he was like, all I wanted to have is just a boys night, like good old days, us playing video games and not care about relationship. And I kind of feel sad for him. At the end, the girls were like, okay, we're gonna leave you alone, enjoy your night and we're just gonna go and chill in Payne's apartment. <laughs> this is it, well, except Amy, because she was partying with her grandma. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today. So let's talk in, guys, let's get started. So I got the craziest email this morning. I don't mean to burst your bubble, dude, but those penile enlargement pills do not work. <laughs> <laughs> the email I got was from the office of Stephen Hawking. You're he's coming to the university for a couple weeks to lecture and he's looking for an engineer to help maintain the equipment on his wheelchair. Uh, uh, a word of caution, I would not do your Stephen Hawking impression in front of him. <laughs> oh yeah, <You're laughs> or he's gonna go down. <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> I suppose that could be considered offensive. Well, Sheldon's going to freak out. Yeah, he worships Hawking. Well, I was actually thinking about bringing him along when I go over there so he can meet the great man. It's really nice of you, Howard. It's no big deal. <laughs> Boy, Aww. a restraining order from Stephen Hawking. <laughs> no, look so nice next to the ones he's already got from Leonard Nimoy, Carl Sagan, and Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah, he, he got a really big collection of restraining orders. I was going to revolutionize humanity's understanding of the Higgs boson particle, and you said, Sheldon, it's 2 a.m., get out of my bedroom? <laughs> Like it was 10 hours ago, what about it? Break out the mat. Oh, okay, let me see this. All right, so this particle here is the boson moving forward in time. Now, I was thinking, you, how would you go ahead and eat? This isn't gonna make any sense to you. <laughs> You lose any chance Sheldon to see Stephen Hawking. Understanding of physics. Yeah, good for you, and don't stop working on it. <laughs> you still going to tell him about you know who? Yep. I'm still gonna introduce him? Not on your life. <laughs> Aww. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh, he told Let me. Let me be talking. I told you no. But I said I'm sorry. Sheldon, you're a condescending jerk. Why on earth would I want to do something nice for you? Um, to go to Jewish heaven? Please, this is Stephen Hawking. Perhaps my only intellectual equal. <laughs> Maybe you can use it in you your advantage. You can, Let Sheldon do whatever you want. Imagine, you're the sole human being living on a planet populated with nothing but dog. Hang on, are you saying the rest of us are dogs? Yeah, okay, <laughs> I can see you're gonna take this the wrong way. Let me try again. Imagine you're the sole human being living on a planet populated with nothing but chimps. Get out of my lab. Oh, now they're so much smarter than dog. Get out. How about dolphins? Out. <laughs> I feel like Sheldon's gonna sneak into the meeting or something. Because oh, it's Sheldon, obviously. <laughs> it Howard, please, I'm begging you. Do you understand how important Hawking is to me? When I was six years old, I dressed up as him for Halloween. <laughs> Aww. You don't seem to be understanding the English word no. It may be a different language will help. Russian, niet. Chinese, boo. Japanese, <laughs> Klingon, ko. He won't Binary stop, Howard. He won't stop. It's actually 0110111. No! <laughs> of course. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for Hawking. Oh yeah, that's what Let me Stephen try Hawking Hells wants no. to do. <laughs> to meet Sheldon Cooper. Okay, look, how about this? You just give him my paper on the Higgs boson. If he sees the incredible breakthrough I've made, he'll reach out to me. What if he doesn't? Yeah, he will. He's really smart. <laughs> that's an interesting idea. Yo, why don't you Can you not email that to, to him, no? With my friend. How do I do that? Is Walk that away. Walk away. <laughs> You do realize you own his ass right now. Yeah, that's what I said. 
you can just use it in your advantage. You no, exactly. I'm trying to figure out how much I want to punish him. <laughs> well, don't be too mean. Yeah, hey, fellas, I'm thinking about making some freshly brewed iced tea, if anyone would like some. I wouldn't mind a glass. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> We're not friends. <laughs> Bring him to his bony knees. Oh, I don't know what I would do to Sheldon. Let me know Sheldon, in the comments <laughs> what you would do. <laughs> I'll give your paper to Professor Hawk. Great, thank you. Oh, that's terrific. But in exchange, I'd like you to do a few things for me. Ooh. What kinds of things? All oh, right. What would you like me to do first? Well, I thought I'd start you off by polishing my belt buckles. Oh. Oh my God. Is it like for each day of the year? Probably more. That's a lot of belt buckles. <laughs> Funny thing is, I only have one belt. It's anyway, like I'll let thing, you get right? started. Oh, by the way, the little marks uh, that look like water spots, I tend to stand too close to the urinal, so... <laughs> what you're seeing there is splashback. Howard! You make sissy on your belt buckle? Here is a black light to check them. And for your own peace of mind, you might not want to shine that around the rest of the room. <laughs> oh my god! No, I would run away. <laughs> Sheldon, these look great! They're like magnificent little crowns that hang over my magnificent little jewels. <laughs> now will you give Professor Hawking my paper? Oh, my dear boy, no. Okay. <laughs> Next, this is a sexy French maid costume I bought for Bernadette. You want me to return it for you? No, 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 ma petite chérie. What do you want him to do? No! No! <laughs> what are you all staring at? Have you ever seen a man try to get a meeting with Stephen Hawking before? <laughs> God, this is like the best thing I've ever seen! <laughs> well done, Howard. 10 out of 10. Hey! <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, are you crying? Night. Why are you doing your laundry? This is not my laundry. Those are Howard's. <laughs> Why are you washing Howard's man panties? <laughs> because if I don't, he won't give my paper to Stephen Hawking. Stan, why doesn't Howard just introduce you to the guy? Because he's punishing me for being a quote condescending jerk. You're punishing for you don't everything. Think I'm condescending, do you? Well. You oh, I'm sorry. Condescending. I know what it means. <laughs> and yes, you love correcting people and putting them down. Come on, you do it to feel superior. I see that twinkle in your eye when someone says who instead of whom or thinks the moon is a planet. What do you want me to tell you, Sheldon? I want you to tell me that Howard is being mean to me for no reason. Fine. Howard is being mean to you for no reason. I knew it. <laughs> Every time I spend the night, your mom slaps me on the behind and says, Go get him! <laughs> it's not her fault. She's getting hormone replacement therapy. Check this out. I got Sheldon to wear the French maid's costume. Oh my god, that's terrible. What? Hey, I gave you first crack at it. You mean to him. He's mean to me all the time. You've heard him tease me about not having a doctorate? If you don't want to get teased about that, get a doctorate. That's true. <laughs> I have one. They're great. The man torments me. I'm just letting him have a little taste of his own medicine. It's not the same thing. Sheldon doesn't know when he's being mean because the part of his brain that should know is getting a wedgie from the rest of his brain. <laughs> I'll just make him do a couple more things and I'll stop. No, you have to stop now. Oh, look at this goodness. I want to remind you, you promised to take me dress shopping tomorrow. I'm sorry, I can't make it. But Sheldon's gonna go with you. Oh my god, Bernadette! dead. I was just saying that you're such a good girl. And that's the last thing you do to him. <laughs> Sheldon! <laughs> Oh, dear. What is it now, Mrs. Wallowitz? It's this dress! When I put my front in, my back pops out! What do you want me to do? 
We're going to have to work as a team. Take him here. <laughs> Grab a handful and start stuffing! <laughs> oh, Sheldon, I feel so sorry for you. I'm not sure how to do this. It's easy! Just pretend you're putting away a sleeping bag! Oh, if we squeeze you any tighter, you might turn into a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Who am I kidding? <laughs> you should have seen me when I was young, Sheldon. The fellas used to line up and bring me boxes of candy. <laughs> oh. Why did I eat it all? <laughs> Poor mama. Would you hold me? Oh, no, you know, I'm not really the holding kind of. Oh. <laughs> she got ya. I did it. Had to go to three clothing stores, but we finally found a dress that could envelop your mother. Now, will you please present my paper to Professor Hawking? I don't know. Oh, for heaven's sake. I did your laundry. I pee-pee-proofed your belt buckles. <laughs> I, I even sprained my wrist helping your mother lift her bosom. <laughs> he did everything. Come on, he deserved that. There's only one thing left I want you to do. Don't worry. It's an easy one. Okay. Give me a compliment. Fine. You have very tiny hands. <laughs> About my job, I want you to Ooh. tell me I'm good at what I do. Oh, that You're would be hard. You're good at what you do. <laughs> then why are you always ripping on me? I have never said that you are not good at what you do. It's just that what you do is not worth doing. Kind of makes sense. It's nicer than anything he's ever said to me is to take and run. <laughs> Thank Best you, compliment. Now, will you give my paper to Hawking? Sorry, I can't. What? Why not? I gave it to him three days ago. <gasps> he was really impressed. He wants to meet you. All right, then. That's... that's cool. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> I Please let Professor out. Hawking know that I'm available at his earliest convenience. Thought he might be a little more excited. Give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's gonna pass out. <laughs> Too exciting. Professor Hawking, it's an honor and a privilege Ooh. to meet you, sir. Ooh. I know. I want to thank you for it. That's cool. Time to see me. I enjoyed reading your paper very much. You clearly have a brilliant mind. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Too bad it's wrong. Oh no! <laughs> what do you mean wrong? <laughs> well, are we gonna fight with you Stephen made Hawking a now? Mistake on page two. It was quite a boner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I don't make arithmetic mistakes. Oh gosh, golly, I made a boo boo, and I gave it to Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Another fainter. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Anyway, if it's okay with you, we should talk about Howard's bachelor party. Ooh, Seems like a bit of a yes. Down after our like and yes, conversation. Please. I've been doing some research on strippers. One agency I spoke to said they can get us a great price if we're flexible on age range and number of limbs. Sounds like loads of fun, but I promise Bernadette no strippers. <laughs> you don't want strippers? You're the king of strippers. That one club in North Hollywood named a pole after you. <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm not into that stuff anymore. Good for you, Howard. I'm proud of you. Okay, you he's a grown man. We have to do something special. Maybe we can go up to uh, Napa Valley. They've got that wine train. Uh, boo, wine. Just but go to Vegas. Trains, I'm in. Spend anyway, some money. It's a beautiful time of year. Uh, you travel through the vineyards. There's a tasting on board, and all the wild flowers are in bloom. Look at that. In 30 seconds, we went from hiring women to being them. <laughs> so, I hear you and the Lost Boys are having a bachelor party tonight. <laughs> yeah, just going to a restaurant, get some steaks, scotch, and nothing to worry about. Why should I worry? I don't know, it's a bachelor party. There could be strippers. Come on, Leonard, it's you. What's gonna happen? I am a young man in his sexual prime. Under the right conditions, I, I am capable of just but really crazy stuff. Really, what is the craziest thing you've ever done with a woman? And the time you and I had sex in the ocean does not count. Oh, come on, that's gotta count. <laughs> well, have fun tonight. Oh, I will. There is no telling what might happen. 
Hey, I got a hand at Daraj. He found a really nice spot to have a bachelor party. It's not bad. Unless you compare it to a train, and then it stinks. You're drinking yeah, this place is looking cool. Indeed. If I'm to participate in the social convention that is the stag I feel like we're going to get drunk, Sheldon, by the end of this episode. And I'm tobacco, so here for it. <laughs> and... Unless yes, he's not going to like it. Jeepers, that's yucky. <laughs> You guys. Oh, oh hey, well, hello. I get out tonight for Howard. Well, it was either this or another hot tub party at George Decay's house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I thought since our reconciliation, I was your friend in this group. Oh, I'm friends with Howard too. Oh, well, I guess you're just friends with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Things are a little tight at the comic book store. I might need some help covering my share of the check. Oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, and, and maybe a few bucks Aww. for the ballet. Uh, all right. And gas money to get home. Uh, you know what? This is my grandfather's watch. Oh. 18 karat gold. Got it in Europe during the war. Wow. It's very nice. Mm hmm. 100 bucks and it's yours. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor hey, Stuart. The bachelor boy He's going through some tough times. <laughs> He's a jolly good fellow. Which no one can deny. Yes, yes, yes. He's a jolly good fellow. What time did the swippers arrive? <laughs> Actually, Barry, we're not going to have strippers tonight. Ah, uh, what the frig did I get $200 in singles out for? <laughs> this is Maid of Honor Amy Farrah Fowler, bringing you the wedding activities just weeks out from the big day. Let's check in with a beautiful, radiant young woman and her friend <laughs> about to get married. <laughs> Bernadette, on your wedding night, you'll be consummating your marriage. What do you think your first sexual position will be as husband and wife? Baby, please. Keeping in mind that whoever's <laughs> on top may set the tone for the marriage. Okay, show's over. Hey, they may conceive a child on their wedding night. Don't you think the kid might get a kick out of knowing how it happened? <laughs> Ask her things like, are you gonna take Howard's name, not who's gonna sit on who? I've actually been thinking I'm gonna hyphenate Bernadette Marianne Rostinkowski Wallowitz. <laughs> That's nice. a long name. You know, you should totally get Bernadette Marianne Rostenkowski Wallowitz.com before someone snaps it up. <laughs> Howard already took care of it. Plus, he set up our beautiful wedding website with cute little facts about our family histories. Do you know for a while in Poland, my family and his family were neighbors? Oh, that's cool. It's crazy. No, it's not. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> May I have your attention, please? <clears throat> We are here tonight to celebrate the upcoming nuptials of my best friend, Howard Wolowitz. <laughs> Cheers, I, I don't have anything to drink friend. with you guys. <laughs> Does anyone have any words they'd like to say about a man of the evening? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, oh. <laughs> in this tradition, I prepared a series of disrespectful jokes which generate humor at Howard's expense. I always thought you'd be the last one of us to ever get married because you are so short and unappealing. Am I right? <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. Oh, seriously, good. though. You're actually one of the most intelligent people I know. And that's a zinger, because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought that you'd make someone <laughs> a fine husband some... Okay, okay, kidding aside. Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. <laughs> so good. Double bazinga, I do. <laughs> good luck following that. <laughs> Nothing can beat that. Howard Wallowitz tying the knot. <laughs> Leaving his crazy bachelor days behind, he was a wild one. I guess we all kind of were. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one time. We were in the ocean and we started making out. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's not I about you, Leonard. <laughs> it's about and Howard. Nobody cares, Hofstetter, wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> right. To Howard. To Howard. To Howard. To Howard. 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 I think about you and Bernadette starting this wonderful life together. I can't help but get a little choked up. I mean, you, you have everything. <laughs> Look at me, I'm 37. I sleep in the back seven. of a comic book store and I have the bone density of an 80 year old man. I thought he's younger. Howard. <laughs> 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 he's 
going to be an emotional oh, evening. Next? I'm going to say something to you that everybody's thinking, but no one has the courage to say out loud. <laughs> when you invite a man to a bachelor party, the implication is there will be strippers. Yeah, maybe not completely nude, but at least pasties and G-swings. That's not unreasonable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, oh my else? god, he's recording it. Huh? Something no. will go wrong. Okay. It all comes down to me as the best man. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Come on. Grasshoppers kicking my ass hopper. <laughs> Hope we can throw up on the table. Okay. Then I met Howard and suddenly my life changed. We could be lonely together. <laughs> <laughs> this man became my whole world. <laughs> yeah, nice speech, Francine. <laughs> I'm not done, but thank you. <laughs> I think back. Uh, Stewart, don't steal. All the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. Uh, I told him I'm addicted to pedicures, and he told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <gasps> <gasps> she was no. my second cousin. No. The first woman you ever sexually. Part of it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. and then the, time, <laughs> the secret is Leonard exposed. And I took Howard to Las Vegas and, and, and paid a hooker to pretend she was Jewish and that she wanted his little kosher pickle. Oh my oh, god. Howard humping hooker stories. That one's my favorite. Oh, That's hey, bad. That's and it's, I bet it's all recorded oh, on camera. The tubby girl in the Sailor Moon costume at Comic Con. <laughs> Please sit down. The only threesome I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm proud to say it was with this man right here. <laughs> I would just run. Internet, this is so going all over you. <laughs> Jeepers, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they should have their own YouTube channel, just like their Thank group of friends, just posting well, warning, stuff. Right? You boys have a nice time? Yeah, it was great. Low key, like I promised, no hanky panky, no strippers, just the guys telling jokes. That's nice. <laughs> She's How not happy. Did we have a fun night. Yeah, we uh, made gift bags, had wine, and then went online and saw this. <gasps> it's already oh, online. Howard humping hooker stories. That one's my favorite. You know, we're not that far from my apartment. If you stop the car, I can walk from here. <laughs> oh, we're jump off the car. Three way. <laughs> Look at that, listen. You lied to me. You said you told me about all the girls you've been with, but you never mentioned your cousin, the prostitute, or Raj. <laughs> Seriously, you don't even have to stop the car. Anything under 10 miles an hour, and I can combat roll into the street. <laughs> Right. I didn't hire the prostitute. She was a gift from him. I, I, shame on you, Raj. That's not how we treat women in this country. Don't you try and blame this on him. Thank you, Bernadette. Zip it, pervert! <laughs> You're next. <laughs> I'm supposed to marry Howard in a couple weeks, and I'm not sure I even know who the man is anymore. I'm curious what's bothering you most. The borderline incest, the prostitute, or group sex with the girl dressed as the children's cartoon. <laughs> Everything. When I first met Howard, he seemed so innocent to me. He's just a sweet little guy who lives with his mother. Well, if that's what you like, I'll take you to the comic book store. The place is full of them. <laughs> that's sure. You set me up with Howard. Did you know about all the creepy stuff he was into? Oh, a little. You hear stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now she's gonna blame Penny. Oh my God! I thought you were my friend. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Hi, Bernie. It's me again. Please call me back. That's I'm it. So the wedding sorry. is over. I hope I'm not. I've been waiting for this stuff. day. Here. What is this? You're upset. The convention is to bring an upset person a hot beverage. No, but what is it? Chicken broth. It seemed culturally appropriate. <laughs> Also, there was a single cube of chicken bouillon in the cupboard when I moved in. It's been bothering me for the last eight years. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, I think it's as expired. They say, two birds. I don't know what my next move is. Well, Howard, I don't know much about women. Yeah? No, uh, that, that's it. I don't know much about women. <laughs> uh, you got anything? No help uh, here. Uh, Please come out, Bernadette. Let's talk through this. No, leave me alone. 
Perhaps you should give him a taste of his own medicine. Do you have a cousin who you find attractive? <laughs> Ew. Amy. Hey, you introduced her to the sleaze bag. I'm just trying to clean up your mess. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I need to talk to Bernadette. Well, I don't think she wants to talk to anyone right now. All right. Well, could you at least give her a message? Tell her I'm really sorry, and if she doesn't want to marry me, I get it, but what I really want her to know is that the guy that she's disgusted by is the guy that I'm disgusted by too, but that guy doesn't exist anymore. He's gone. And Aww. because of her. Oh my God, Howard. <laughs> exactly, that's, that's the sweetest thing, I've ever, thing ever. Howie? Penny has a message for you. I heard, come here. Oh, cuddles! Oh, yes! So, is the wedding still on? Yeah, the wedding's yes. still on. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. thank God. <laughs> I'm still a maid of honor! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Groove hugs! Hello. What's with the robe? What's I'm going, going have on? Sex with you right here, right now, on that washing machine. That's unhygienic. No, you're not. Come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do something? You can help me fold the sheet. Folding the sheet, my underwear. Still pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, what was that? I don't know. That was some crazy, crazy stories, crazy episodes. Well, the first we're gonna start with Stephen Hawking. To be honest, I kind of get why Howard wanted to be like a douchebag to Sheldon, pay back for everything that he said, what he did, you know, being annoying, but we all know Sheldon is Sheldon. He doesn't even understand what's he doing most of the time but yeah i kind of get it you know it's a payback but it was so sweet that he still shared his paper i guess it was like on the first day basically when sheldon asked howard like can you share this paper with stephen hawking and he did the same day but he still used sheldon to do stuff it's yeah it's kind of you know it's a win-win so he shared the paper <laughs> and he still annoys sheldon for a little bit so i think it's all right you need to shake sheldon a little bit sometimes then the second episode about Howard's bachelor party. I think whenever you have any sort of parties where it involves drinks, you should just lock your phone away or just not allow to bring your phone to this sort of event because <laughs> someone was gonna get drunk and this is it. And if it's recorded, it's gonna go online anywhere or just spread it. Oh, that's annoying sometimes. <laughs> yeah, also I feel why Bernadette was angry at Howard because, you know, he had a crazy past, so it's understandable. But heck to the yak, we still have wedding on and I feel like they're gonna conclude this season with the wedding. Well, that's what I hope they will do. If not, then I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!